Hey Kindos, it's me Ken. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over pros and cons of being a pharmacy technician. This was highly requested, you guys, and I'm so excited that so many people are interested, especially about how I came to being a pharmacy technician in the first place. Um, that's a whole nother video though, but today's video is going to be questions that you guys have been asking me and like assumptions and things like that, and I kind of turned it into a pros and cons with me answering them. So if you're interested, stay tuned and let's get into today's video. All right, y'all, so we gonna start off with the cons because I want to end on a good note for today's video. First, I have unhappy customers. We all have unhappy customers. That's just what we're going to have to encounter, but Okay, let me tell you. It's another breed when the patient is very unhappy. Sometimes it's not what they want at the time. They're not ready for it. Insurance is probably not covering something that they thought they would. They're trying to meet um, a certain deductible or whatever and their copay is too high. I mean, it can literally be anything for that scenario that day, but there's always going to be an unhappy patient and you just have to learn how to deal with that. Like these people are either sick or they just need a maintenance med or you know what I'm saying? They're just coming to the pharmacy to get service and get their medicine and go home happy. So there's always going to be someone in the pharmacy to give you a hard time. And that is one of the cons. And I understand that like Customers are going to irritate you or try to get on your skin everywhere you work, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I don't know, it just does something to me whenever they just do the most over insurance, y'all. It be stuff that I can't control, okay? And I really try my best to make them happy. But yeah, that's most definitely con number one. I had to get that out of the way because we all deal with that, you know what I'm saying? Number two is going to be being very fast-paced pretty much at all times unless it's a chill Sunday or something in the pharmacy. Um, at least that's our pharmacy's chill days where we play catch up. But um, I would just say it's really fast paced because you have to keep this huge rotation in the pharmacy between the technicians and the pharmacist. You're getting scripts dropped off to you pretty much all day long. Um, you have to type them up. You have to either dispense them or you have to go compound them depending on if it's an acne cream or if it's um, an antibiotic, you know. There's always something to do and there's always something to be given to the pharmacist. So like, it's literally like a chain that we're kind of used to. The pharmacist verifies it after we're all done. We give it to the patient. Sometimes though, with you know insurance things or discount cards, are they getting the right medication for the day? They might want something else. They might add something, then they have to wait longer. I mean, it's, it's a whole thing. Cause there's really no downtime unless like I said, it's just, one of those days or you're kind of steady and you're doing good but uh yeah when it's busy it's up and it's not coming back down until a while you know what i'm saying especially when everybody's like getting off work and things like that number three is kind of what i already mentioned uh for the cons is insurance issues and having to work through that um, mainly because, I mean, people have TRICARE, uh, Medicaid, Medicare, um, maybe they just want to use discount cards because they don't have insurance and sometimes drugs are more expensive when you use your insurance but then they want to flip flop and then they want to use a discount card. So it's always kind of a hassle with that, especially when the patient has either an expensive drug or um, a lot of medication to give at one time. So it gets really just hectic real quick dealing with all that especially if the coverage has been terminated or somebody isn't covered under the plan that we have to figure out um, and give all this information to the patient so it is a lot for them at one time and it's a lot for us as well to figure out i also feel like it mainly gives me the most trouble that makes me just want to walk out the door sometimes is when a patient is like has it not covered it's been covering for this and this and such and such and i'm like well like you might have to call your insurance i can only do so much and i try to work with them and i'm like oh i can give you you know what i'm saying a discount card i can look one up for you i'm trying to give them these other options so they won't walk away with nothing because i really truly do dislike that i wish that everybody can walk away with their medication you know but sometimes it just happens and people leave stuff behind and that's when us as technicians have to do return the stocks and then return the stocks is where we return all of their drugs and then it's a whole cycle you know what i'm saying it's a process when they leave stuff there but we also want them to get it but if they can't afford it then you know it's cycle so that creates so much issue and it is a huge con of the pharmacy because we are the frontliners of that you know what i'm saying we're telling them this and then they can't get it type of thing the next one would just be the workload um like i said we fill scripts we type scripts we deal with adjudication and adjudication is basically when a medication isn't going through on the insurance we deal with um 
uh, patient engagement and that's when we literally call patient by patient hey do you want to sign up for medsync to pick up all your medications together hey do you need a refill on this i see that you're overdue for it hey um you need a pneumonia vaccine i mean patient engagement is literally engaging with all those patients and getting all their needs done before they even come to us and that's a huge responsibility, a part of the workload as well. And I've mentioned return to stocks, but we return those that they don't want. And sometimes it can look crazy because so much is left and behind that we have to put back on the shelf. And that could be for another patient in need of that. You get what I'm saying? So it has to be done. Um, another thing is typing scripts and doing like day supply and like insulin or whatever the script may be. We just have to get that done, especially if... The patient wants to pick up the same day or maybe they'll come tomorrow we'll write the next date and time on it and hopefully have it ready for that patient at that time that we promised another con that i would say is being on the lookout kind of constantly for patients that try to get over on certain control drugs it could be i don't know narco um it could be adderall i mean it could be literally anything that you know is a controlled drug that cannot be picked up certain days prior like they have to get it or well, at least at our pharmacy they can get it one day early or the day of we we don't do anything further back and a lot of people try to be like oh well i picked it up this day i should be able to get it and they give us such a hard time on that so i feel like that's a con in a way because you have to be able to establish that on your profile like no they picked it up this day they paid this much for it it was sold by such and such and if you don't look into all that your pharmacist for sure will because they're the ones who have to verify it and we're the ones to fill it you know what i'm saying so we work together and we're always pretty much on the lookout for people like that um also regarding the same con is that people can drop off fake scripts people can get over i don't know even how they get these papers sometime but um there's a way of us telling if it's real or fake and it has to be signed by a doctor and sometimes those scripts just don't have that and they're not going to get over on us so you have to be um very open to look at those things and um spot that out Another con is I feel like pharmacy technicians are very um, unappreciated, um, mainly because I think people think that we just count a couple pills, put it in a vial, put a cap on it, and give them to them, and they pay. But that's literally maybe the 10% of what we do and um it kind of is frustrating well it is frustrating at times especially when you're pushing all these scripts out and doing the whole rotation that I told you all about and going through all the issues to get there and for them to pay and leave is a lot and you'll have those people that want to cuss you out um that want to give you a hard time um all the things so very much unappreciated sometimes and it's not okay i feel like those are all the cons but there's literally so much so i might pop in a clip or something here and there if i forget something because there's so much that we deal with at times that is just not so great at being a technician but um yeah if there's some more i'll even comment it or just pop in some videos because it's just like i said it's it's so much y'all it's so much but i'm very very thankful for my job okay thankful moving on to the pro getting paid weekly i know that is not for all technicians but i do work in retail i work in a grocery store and most grocery stores tend to get paid weekly that's pretty much all in my area that i know of it may be everywhere for the most part um but at least in my area we all get paid weekly which is nice because i don't have to wait two weeks to get paid my next one is i put most of the time there's hours to be given in the pharmacy due to staffing and i say that because compared to maybe working up front somewhere maybe there's more employees to distribute hours if you're part-time but i know for me i pretty much get all the hours that i asked for um regardless of us being like understaffed because the pharmacy always have hours to give because there's not a lot of us and you know what i'm saying it's not a big space either but i know um there's pretty much always more hours to be given next kind of relates to this a little bit is the pay um i know for me whenever i was a cashier i made way less than what i'm making now um obviously there's nothing wrong with being a cashier because i was a cashier for at least two three years um at this job and another job that i used to work at when i was a bit younger and um i say that like i'm just so old y'all i'm 20 anyway 
but yeah most definitely the pay is a good pro uh, we don't make extremely a lot but I make very decent and I'm very appreciative of that and uh, being a PT in retail people think you make way less than working elsewhere um, but you really don't I think it's still decent maybe not even the same as some like hospital settings my next one is just simply getting experience in the healthcare environment because I don't know I don't personally want to become a pharmacist but I know um, some people that do and I feel like that is really really good experience if you want to go into medical school one day you already have like memory of the certain drugs or you already had the certain environment as you're wanting to go into you know what I'm saying a pharmaceutical school so I think it's really cool to get this experience especially if you want to advance in that way from being a tech to a pharmacist or anything else that you have to remember uh, medications like that so one of the biggest pros that I would say is that you do not need a degree to become a pharmacy technician I swear I thought that for the absolute longest and I had no clue until TikTok told me once upon a time okay I was literally like what you don't need a degree like I thought people were going to get two year degrees for this um, and if you did that's no problem I'm just saying for me personally I'm in school for something completely different I want to become a speech pathologist so hearing that for me, um, maybe uh, a year and a half ago, I was like, whoa, I'm doing that. And since I was already working for a company, they literally just did my trainings and quizzes and everything else there for me to get my trainee license to later take my test. So yeah, if you didn't know, now you know. Don't get a degree if you don't want to in that field and you want to go off and branch and do something completely different. But honestly, chase your dreams and do whatever makes you happy because at the end of the day, you're going to be the one working this job or career. So yeah, do whatever makes you happy. Another pro of being a pharmacy technician is that we do not have to remember all of the drugs. And a lot of people think that we do and I think that is such a bright side because there's a pharmacist for a reason and that they went to school for this knowledge and they're always there to help you out. Um, and literally whenever we're giving patients certain drugs and like I forget something and they're asking, hey, is this for, I don't know, cholesterol? And I'm like, hey, such and such, like is this? And they go either yes or no. And it's literally that simple. Like you do not have to remember it. No one, no tech, no pharmacist should give you a hard time as a technician. For not knowing something because it is not required for this occupation and naturally anyways you end up knowing uh how to pronounce a lot of the medication knowing what they're for and what they're used for um legally we're not able to counsel patients because that's the pharmacist's job and that's what they can do and we literally can't even mess with that like if a pharmacist asks for a counsel from us and we gave it to him we would probably lose our license or something like it's it's that serious but um yeah so if we don't have to remember drugs and that is literally so amazing because you would think we do because we do it with literally all the things but we don't have to so another pro i would say is that i kind of mentioned this but i feel like i should go in it a little more especially with so many of you guys interested in pt but i love the fact that you can literally train as a technician while trying to be a technician you get what i'm saying because i know for me my trainee license expires in december but i already have the knowledge and all the hands-on training that i could ever get you know what i'm saying to take my test and i am taking it in july um i think that's so cool that you get to do that and i get to show them my training license like yeah i did that and yeah i'm still training at the same time um technically i'm not in training anymore obviously but i think that's so cool when i obtained my training license and i feel like everyone should know that because you don't have to automatically get this full certification to even walk in a pharmacy you get what i'm saying so that is a huge pro that i think is so neat that they um do or whatever the last pro for the day i feel like it has to be the variety that we can go to at least the setting because a lot of people think um you have to be like just put solely at like a grocery store or something or even like a walgreens but you can literally work at a hospital if you wanted to um a lot of times there's a uh, privately owned um local pharmacy that you can go to it doesn't always have to be a grocery store Ooh, and some people even do like traveling pharmacy technicians you know what I'm saying? um this summer i plan on like digging more into that and like going to stores like locally near me and getting them hours and racking up them paychecks y'all like i literally know this one 
woman that floats like in and out of our pharmacy and she's like a district floater right like her job is to literally go where she's needed and um i think they even pay for her gas too so like you don't even have to stay put if you don't want to stay put you know what i'm saying um i wish i can even do that now but i'm in school and i've been seeing and stuff like that so it just wouldn't work for me right now but most definitely in the summer catch me going to different pharmacies to help out and things like that i mean it could be vacation weeks call-ins anything that can be filled in by the floater good to go you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying y'all i'm excited because that's most likely going to be me this summer and i just want that to get the ball rolling because they make that money okay but yeah with all that being said i pretty much hit on the main pros and cons i already know i'm gonna leave something out because you know it's always something it could be either negative or positive positive is where we like it but um yeah if i forget something or if you have any questions comment down below or even hit me up on instagram kenny.nova or anything of that sort and i actually was reading through some comments the other day and i was responding to a lot of them back to back so i might do that after this video uh get this edited and put up for y'all because i like i said it's been requested but yeah thanks for watching today's video i may do a part two if there's a lot more questions out there um i love y'all and kenny nova is out